Hi everyone. Welcome to another After School Tech Tips with the Tips team. My name is Bernice Pui and I'm going to be introducing Smarter Marks to you. Smarter Marks is a web-based assessment tool where you can create assessments using multiple choice or numeric response or written response questions. It's a great place to be able to analyze student assessments as there are statistics that are built in that allow you to figure out whether a question is good or not, or to be able to highlight certain student misconceptions. As well, teachers can use your own questions, you can share questions with colleagues, and there's even an open question bank that is currently building based upon questions that are contributed by other teachers. So when you enter Smarter Marks, smartermarks.com, you can click on your role below, which is teacher. If you do not know your account yet, click on Forgot My Password, and Forgot My Password is going to send you to this email address where you can then type in your email address and you can click on Submit. Um, if you know it already, don't worry about it. You can go ahead then and log in. And you can get into Smarter Marks. Within Smarter Marks, we have forms and versions, online sittings, assessment templates, question bank, and the help button. The help button is going to be an incredible useful area filled with lots of great video and documentation on how to use Smarter Marks more in depth. You can see here that everything is categorized and there are many straightforward videos through this whole process. Now, if we go back to the main page, um, the other thing that I wanted to show you is assessment templates specifically. Assessment templates is the area where you are going to create your exam. So think of an exam as an assessment template. Online sittings is the format in which students can take an online exam. And then forms and versions think the paper exam, the format of the paper exam, plus the Scantron. But the exam itself goes under assessment templates. So in order to create an in-person paper format, you would build your test in assessment templates first and then print it off in forms and versions. Same thing with your an online sitting of the exam. You'd build your exam in assessment templates first, and then you would go and um, administer it using online sittings. So we'll start out with assessment templates here. You'll go and click on new assessment. And for example, we may start out with something like grade seven, um, heat and temperature, for example. And that can be my title of my exam as well. Notice here when I go to add section, we have multiple choice, numeric and written response sections. Or you can do a mixed type, which just means all different types of questions all within the same area. I'm just going to do a multiple choice to get you started on this and feel free to explore Smarter Marks later and take a look and see all that it has to offer. So right here, I'm going to add my items. I have two options. I can create a new item, meaning I'm making my very own question, or I can choose from a bank. So for example, I can go to my open bank and I can look for something like particle model of matter. When I go, I can go and find any of these questions and it shows you a quick preview of each question here. And I'm gonna decide if I like it or not. There's also a diffic difficulty and discrimination here um, for people who have used this question before earlier. For more details on that, check out the help menu. It's really great on explaining how that all works. So I'm going to take this question and I'm going to add it to my test. You can see it shows up here automatically. Um, and again, I could do that um, with any more questions as well. So I can again choose another question. Let's say I'm picking this for now. And again, I have my next question. As you can see here, build then is where I can build my paper version or my online sitting. So paper is for you know, distributing the paper exam in your classroom. And then online sitting would be the one where your students are going to take the exam on Chromebooks um, or a device of their own, laptops, Chromebooks, even mobile device works for the online sitting. 
As well, Smarter Marks also provides you a lot of different statistics um, other than the online sittings. So for example, if I go into my online sittings, um, you can see that I can actually access a variety of my exams from before, but as well specifically, I can go and take a look at the uh, scoring results that I have here. So for example, um, this would be a good way to kind of look at someone and we can take a look at um, the events. Now, one of the things I wanted to show you about this is you can see here that it grays out whenever a student is off the tab, for example. Um, you can also see how long it took each person to kind of respond to each question all the way through. So that is another great feature to this. Um, it also helps you then kind of figure out how long a student's been spending on one question and were they sitting specifically on here. That's for the online sittings. When we look at the paper copy as well, we also have a variety of different um, areas in which you can actually see how well someone did. So for example, I can go in and I can browse my scores. And when I go into this area, you'll see here I have student reports and I have a teacher summary. In the teacher summary, you can actually see um, kind of in general, the score distribution, there's difficulty. Um, it gives you a bunch of different information about whether or not a question is good or not and what the most common errors were and gives you a nice graphical representation of every single question. Feel free to choose to use this or not, um, but this is just one of the features that Smarter Marks can do. So as you can see here, um, there is quite a bit that Smarter Marks can do in terms of the variety of ways that can be used to help you assess your students, depending on what your goal is. It even checks for things like collusion. So deciding whether or not there may have been possible cheating within a class. Um, and like you saw earlier with the online sittings, figuring out whether or not someone was on that tab or went off of it can also help you figure out whether that assessment was valid or not. If you're interested in learning more about Smarter Marks, check out this help menu. It will walk you through any step that you need. And for more information and support, visit tips.epsb.ca. Thank you.